So, I made a video a couple months ago on how to make a logo, and right now it's at like 5.5 thousand views, and that's pretty good. So, I thought I'd make another video. So, um, yeah, this video is not gonna be a logo like I did last time, it's gonna be like your custom logo, you can have it however you want. Um, and yeah, so first thing you're gonna need is Photoshop, uh, I was messing around trying to come up with some cool backgrounds and I didn't really find anything so you want to go file new and now I got some questions on my last video now the first oh look at the time smoke weed every day so the first most common question I got was how do you do the 3d thing um and this that's not gonna be in this video i'm not gonna show you the 3d thing a lot of people have been asking me like oh for a logo normally isn't it 800 by 800 or 900 by 900 and i showed you in the video you should do 10,000 pixels by 10,000 pixels because you want it to be high def it's the same size but it's just more it's like it's still like the same ratio. It'll fit on YouTube. I mean, no, on YouTube actually you have to downscale but if you ever get like really successful on YouTube and you want to actually have your logo on like, I don't know, like a poster or something, um, you, you, it needs to be really high def. And if it's not high def, then you're gonna have to make a new logo just to go on your poster that you want. I'm just gonna show 1000 by 1000 right now. I recommend having 10,000 by 10,000 or 5,000 by 5,000. I just want to get that out of the way. Background, I'm going to have it transparent because that's just what I want. Um, and then, yeah, that's, you guys can copy that if you want. And then I'll just hit OK. Um, for this tutorial, you guys are going to need to know some a little bit of basic Photoshop knowledge just to kind of figure out how to do this. I mean, I'll do all these things, you guys can copy me, like, exactly what I do, but I mean, like, if you want to actually have your own custom one, you're gonna have to know a little bit of Photoshop. I'm just gonna show you basically how to do it, um, but, yeah. So, first things first, if you guys want to have some, like, advanced, like, crazy custom, you guys can use the pen tool to make your text, but I'm not good at all with the pen tool. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the text tool right now. I'll actually at the end of the video probably just do a quick pen tool thing. I'm not good at it, but I know how to use it. That's what she said. Um, and then you want to choose a font. I'm gonna use the Batman font. Where is it? Batman font. Actually, no, no. Okay, yeah, Batman Forever alternate. It's a good font. It's the one that Phase Clan uses. It's pretty good. So. Uh, I'm gonna choose a letter that I want. You know, I'm gonna do my name, Scopes. So an S. So I have this S, I'm gonna go to the Move tool. Um, it's a Photoshop text thing, so you can enlarge it a lot and it won't lose its resolution. Because it's directly from Photoshop in here and it can remember what you put in. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, and then you can use the pen tool to kind of like cut out certain parts. So I'll show you real quick. Um, all right, so I figured out what I want. Um, so I want this part to be like tilted up more and that part will be tilted down more. So what you do is get the pen tool, grab like that area. Want to go around it. I'm just holding shift alt and then using the mouse thing to zoom in and out boom and you hit control oh hold on control Z uh, so this isn't at the yeah okay so I want to go there and there so you basically kind of want to make a circle around it and then you can make selection you guys can look up tutorials on how to use the pen tool more it's kind of like Adobe Illustrator you can kind of design your own thing so then you want to right click make selection and then you want to go new layer and 
make sure you go back on the layer and I'm just gonna go control C to copy go on the other layer go control V to paste boom and then you can go back on the S and hit control Z because I completely forgot to do this make sure before you paste it you want to copy it make sure it's copied and then you want to hit the delete button what okay so I got a rasterize layer I guess okay so rasterize and then it deletes okay so that part's gone and then you want to go here and hit control V to paste it so you have that on the other layer but you can move it around so you can actually make it cool like that that actually looks really cool um so you can really play around with this make it look cool and then there's the line there hold on I'm just gonna delete that go around it doesn't have to be very good because everything around it is transparent uh, and then delete and there you go and then also say you want to have some cool color thing in the background in between there you can go in here yeah, oh and you can also make sure that these are both level guy by uh, hitting like control R and you get your guidelines you can bring that down and then you can make sure that they're that it's level so I'm gonna bring that down so now they're level um and then on this other layer that I made just want to grab that area go and then you can uh fill path with a color and uh, say you want it to be like red and okay and boom you got red it's because it's on top of that layer that does that so you can just do that so put it behind them. boom and this part I find kind of cool this is part I'm about to show you is very helpful put a guideline there okay now guideline there to make sure that you're set there and then you can grab this um also you could put a guideline down the middle it'll sort of snap when it gets to the middle there it is go there and hold on you want to make sure you grab get to the furthest part of this letter okay sorry if this sounds confusing at all you guys should kind of understand what I'm saying hopefully and then you can just go around that part you can make selection okay and then you can delete all right you're probably like what are you doing just just hold on hold on hit control D to deselect all right and then you want to go uh, get all of these layers selected by holding control you can select all those layers go there there why is that okay there hold on there there make selection control C make a new layer control V okay I guess it only copied one layer okay whatever so then you can just flip it around and use the guidelines to help you that's why they're there they're pretty helpful should sort of snap and it's there okay boom now that goes a little bit past. You can see a, how far it actually goes past. 
you kind of okay, it doesn't have to be a hundred percent perfect I don't think people are gonna notice the tiny little errors put that there and then you can grab this layer all right and then you basically want to do the same thing make selection control C control V okay control T and you want to flip it around put it there and then you want to get that red Part, you can literally just go control A, control C, control V for that red one. Now just remember these aren't going to be perfect. You guys can try to replicate the first part and do it like that, but I'm just doing this because I'm lazy and I kind of want to. I don't want this tutorial to last forever. And then you can, without these red parts, you can just grab all these layers. Okay, and then you want to go merge layers. And then you can go on there, go to blending options. And then you can put like a cool gradient overlay on there. You can turn the opacity down if you want. That actually looks pretty cool. Alright, I actually kind of want these end parts to be more tippy or like more sharp. Tried to make that sound as least wrong as I could, but it's kind of hard sometimes. Okay, so this part is hard. So if you click and hold down, you can pull up like that and you can kind of change the angle of it how am I what did I do I want I don't want this all right kind of change the angle of it okay I think that's good like that and then you can just go around that part make selection and delete control D and it can zoom out that doesn't look that bad that doesn't look that bad oh uh, so for these layers I've actually f just thought it would look cooler if it doesn't just look red so I can put like gradient overlay get like some cool gradient these will not be there for you when you first open Photoshop you have to go on there change the colors uh, for one layer you can go to like red or something and then go red to blue it looks like a popsicle uh, yeah do like lighter red to like a normal red okay that's kind of cool so I can make that as a new gradient and then go to an inner glow set this to white capacity 100% and then you can turn the size up you can uh where is it you can make it come from the center so set this down what there that actually looks kind of cool so you can go like that right click copy layer style go on the other layer paste layer style boom and then you can also make like a group and put all of these in there so that whenever you want to just like you know change one thing you don't have to like move them all individually you can just grab it go on the group one hit control T 
Oh my god, what did I just do? Okay, well when you're moving this, cropping it, if you hit control, you can do that, pretty much. Um, typically, as you can tell, I don't normally do this. It makes it look like it's at an angle, and it can look kind of cool. This just looks like a bow tie. Um, if you want this as your layer, or as your logo, I guess you can have this. Designer finish, man. I'm joking, guys. And yeah, that's basically it. Like I said, you guys can try to design this however you want. This is just how I actually gonna design it. This is just basically I'm telling you what you can do and how you can do it. You guys, the whole, it's up to your own imagination on what you want to do. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, found this video helpful at all, please leave a like. Consider subscribing. If you guys have any questions, found this video helpful, leave a like. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I read and reply to every single comment. Yeah. Peace out.